Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to check out 5 different photo colorizers that turn your black and white photos into color ones. Just a disclaimer here, keep in mind there are plenty of them, some of them even use the same API and some of them can be apps or websites that use the same engine and can lead to the same results. I try to use ones that are actually different, which I can see different results and not use ones that are duplicate. They're going to be a total of 5. And actually one of them delivered results better, much better than all the others. And we're going to talk about this as well. And of course, I'm going to share you some comparisons. All right. The one that they use uh, in this video are dpi.org, catup.pro, Pixbeam Color Surprise AI, which is a software that is the only software which I've actually downloaded. The other ones are online services, websites, which you can access. Uh, uh, Photomine... Uh, com, which is also an app uh, which I checked for Android as well using the same engine. MyHeritage.com, which actually uses the Oldify. And just as a side note, uh, as you can see here, this is from the, the Oldify website. It says the best version of the Oldify is exclusively available on MyHeritage. All right. So just, just something to keep in mind. Another thing to keep in mind that they use trials for some of them and some of them uh, because they didn't pay for the service. So the output resolution wasn't the original one. So ignore the if there's blurriness or sharpness differentiation between the images, ignore that and focus on the color differences. All right, let's take a look at the first photo. This is the black and white version. All images, by the way, black and white are from Pixabay. This is deepai.org, Cut Pro. Pixbeam is a trial version, as you can see, there's a watermark. Photo mine. My heritage. Now let's take a look at all of them side by side. Now I personally love uh, the deep AI org results uh, because the skin tone is very natural, although the contrast is a bit low. And uh, when it comes to the car rendering, uh, I think my heritage did uh, the best job here. As you can see also in the lighting of the car, you see some following there and both DPI and Maheritia did a very, very good job there. Uh, Photomine uh, kind of messed up things. I'm just going to call it Photomine. Yeah, just excuse me for that uh, through the video. Um, as you can see also the color on the road. Uh, it's kind of a colored a bit. Color of the, of the lighting of the car is also colored. It shouldn't be although quite messy results so tell me which one do you think looks better in this case of our first photo our second photo is of a sea uh, you can see the sky and the clouds and rocks so let's see how this is rendered cowtop.pro pixbeam really nice looks very clean color seems very accurate photo mine well pretty messy obviously terrible my heritage also looks very clean and nice, very pleasant colors. Now I think here the photo might kind of confuse it for uh, sunset. Um, maybe this is why it kind of used, you know, in the sky and color seems a bit of orangey, yellowish, reddish. So uh, my heritage did, did a nice uh, job here. Cardot Pro as well. Uh, Pixbeam again actually look here uh, more natural, it's, at least in this part that I actually am showing you here. DPI, the sky looks, uh, I think, the most natural among the other ones. So there might be that there was a sunset there. Actually, I don't know. Maybe. Because just look that the sun is actually low in the low position. I don't know. Anyway, tell me which one you think looks better. You can always go back and check the other uh, full race photo uh, just a few seconds ago. All right, next one is the face of a man. This one really confuses all of them. Uh, you're gonna see something did better than the other. DPI definitely kind of a uh, pinkish. This is too reddish. Cutout. Uh, Pro. This is a uh, pig's beam. Definitely not a great. Photo mine. Better, better, but kind of more green. Too much green. My heritage. Definitely much, much better. Look at this. This one definitely looks like the best result among all of them by far by far all right here you can see a big big difference uh the thing is that look at the skin tones of both the lips 
look at the colors look at the eyes my character did a very very good job although it kind of uh, we have a burn highlights there right uh, whether compared to deep ai you can see more details and no blown highlights same goes to the other ones in that aspect we did kind of a not a great job with the highlights but overall the colors are very very good some of them by the way also have some maybe enhanced sharpening that's why you see maybe more details but again i told you ignore the details because they're actually exported in different resolutions so deep ai definitely not there grayish cut out totally off Peaks beam, well, again, better than Pro. And look at also the code, the color of the code, which is actually blue on Photomine and my heritage. So overall, my heritage is my favorite one, but definitely when it comes to uh, highlights on the face, uh, I think actually uh, Photomine did a very good job as well. Tell me in the comment section which one you like best. Now, this is one of my favorite uh, comparisons. Uh, take a look at this. This is the black and white photo. This is the AI. You can see on the car on the left, the shield is kind of reddish. Cut out. Looks better, more natural. Pix beam. Kind of a mist in the middle. Photo mine. Mm. And my heritage. Look how beautiful this one looks. Look at the car on the left on the shields. Again, I'm going to go over all of them so you can see the differences. Again, ignore the blurriness. You're too reddish in the middle. Maybe some, many of the colors are not correct. Photo mine. And the stunning rendition of my heritage. Look absolutely insane. No, I think it's kind of a screw up in the right building. You can see there's green, right? Green over there. Kind of, uh, I'm not sure that was in the original photo, but overall looks really nice. All right, let's take a look at this one, right? Again, my favorite one by far, especially if you look at the full image, is that of my heritage. Absolutely amazing. Although the, the green area there, you know, at, uh, at the top, when you see the trees, kind of bluish. So it's missed this one out a bit uh, compared to, for example, uh, Kata.pro where it can look more greenish, right? DPI also look uh, natural there in the trees, but the overall look by far, especially the car on the left, the left, you know, remember, take a look at the full images, you can see it. My heritage definitely in the first place. And in my opinion, Pix being just was the worst. I mean, I was surprised how bad it actually looked and I actually expected it to be good. But no, it was actually one, I think the worst here in this comparison. All right, next one is also very interesting. Uh, this one, look at this. Again, the black and white. Now it looks a bit deep in eye. Look at the tree at the back, white. <laughs> and the car purple, and it looks green on the floor. Tattered Pro, green, it's not grass. Pigs beam, again, white on the trees, although the road looks nice. Photomine, now we can see a bit of yellow on the trees for the Photomine. And my heritage, look at that. The car is black, the trees are yellow, and the ground looks great. I mean, this is a huge, a huge difference. Like, my heritage is the only one that actually rendered it, well, I think as close to the original as it should be. Look at the black of the car, the yellow of the trees, the ground, the gray of the road, right? This is huge difference. The other one just got it completely, completely, uh, not completely, but mostly wrong. Look how beautiful it looks. All right, let's take a look. Uh, keep in mind again that some photos might look better. Specific photos, type of photos, depends on you know on what you see in the photos, the of the subject uh, in one of them compared to others. But definitely, my heritage was the most consistent one. Look at the black of the car compared to the other one, which is kind of a purplish. The tree at the back is white. And the road actually in Cato, the pro it actually mix it up like it's supposed to be grass, but it's not, it's a road. That's supposed to be grass. Right? It might that to me perfectly. Uh, is not perfectly, I'm saying. I mean, the best among those is my heritage. Also, Pixbing, by the way, did good with the road, as you can see, with the color. Uh, a huge difference, right? 
something huge with Rino. What a great job for my heritage there. So do you think it's just abusing the AI? Let's give him something much more simple, all right? Let's take a look at some banana photo. So this is the black and white. And this is how it looks with DeepNI, AI.org. Very strong yellow, Pro. Pixbeam. The highlights is a problem here. You see the highlights? Low highlights. Photo mine got it completely. No, this looks terrible. Absolutely terrible. My Herbited, look at the color. Looks very, very natural. It actually got also the green right. And if you look at the overall colors, you see the gray is gray. And the colors look very natural. Again, here again, with a very simple photo, it seems that my heritage got it the best among all the others. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, mine seems like the descent wasn't really trained well uh, for for bananas. Uh, as you can see, DPI actually looks nice with the saturation, but maybe slightly over yellow. Um, pixie beam again kind of a saturation too high i think that the colors of my heritage is the most natural looking ones all right and uh yeah overall uh four of them did good my heritage looks the most natural in terms of the yellow and for the mine well it needs to learn what how bananas looks like <laughs> all right next one is a picture of hands this is the black and white this is deepai.org colorization pigs beam pigs beam by the look of this the worst absolutely the worst photo mine definitely very bad and my heritage looks how amazing it looks nailed it so even here just photos of hands definitely my heritage uh trained well the set was trained well for this uh, especially when you upload the images of family you know photos of the body you know human body it needs to be accurate it needs to look good definitely this set was trained very well and the results are absolutely remarkable this is something especially when people are uploading images of themselves of uh, you know human beings uh you expect hands to be recognized well uh here you can see that uh definitely uh many of them especially pig spin pig spin absolutely was terrible with the greenish yellowish uh skin tone colors absolutely bad dpi.org pretty good cutter pro as well but my heritage again amazing compared to the others the photo mine got you see the black color there is kind of a bluish even the nails so again my heritage as well very very good results so this is it. This is it for this comparison. I compare five different uh, black and white photo colorizations, and I want to hear your opinion. Which one do you think performed best? For me, it's no doubt that my heritage uh, actually did a great job there, best than all the others in different photos that I actually uploaded. Keep in mind, it uses uh, the Oldify, but as I mentioned, uh, the best version of the Oldify is exclusively available on my heritage. So you can actually go to myheritage.com and upload photos and convert them yourself. Now, if you know other ones, of course, I didn't compare all of them. If you know other ones that can uh, even better, uh, you've seen better result, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Again, keep in mind that results may vary depending on the image you upload. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this one. Consider leaving a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.